You are listening to <laughs> Drizzly Radio. Drizzly Radio. Was it intentional that that the rumor? You know, sometimes rumors are intentionally started for publicity. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, 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 no, 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 no. Nah, see, it? Uh, uh, the thing is, there are a lot of things I can't even concern myself with. Mm -hmm. You see me and. Whoa, so you guys like to be messy, honey. <laughs> I wasn't going to talk about it, but you guys kept pushing and pushing and pushing. And I'm like, okay, let me talk about it once and for all. Because you all know with your nosy self, so as mine, we can't stay away from being messy. So let's get a little bit of this evening mess. Well, Omale did an interview with a Nigerian blog called The Pals Nigeria of where he was being asked about his, you know, um album and also the girlfriend which was aka a berry that had like four or five boyfriend at the same time he killed omale and omale was like mm -mm, there are things that are not existing that i can't even talk about they are non-existent things these are non-existent things that i ain't gonna talk about it Okay, that was Omale's response. So, Mrs. Ebere, aka Ebere, she decided to make it her nasty behind business to go on her Instagram page to write her stupid, yes, I call it stupid, whatever she wrote there. Uh, claiming that Omale is lying, Omale is the one that sent him to go and sleep with these guys and record herself while doing it and then put it so that they can trend. And while doing all those crazy ass cloud chasing shit, this e decided to put Mr. Nasha Donna's name on her. I'm like, girl, girl. Do you think that Anasha Donna, where she is, will come down to your level to respond to you? Are you okay? Is you dumb? Are you crazy? Are you okay in the head? I was like, girl, you can do better than this. Let's read what Mrs. Berechi wrote on her Insta story as we continue with the mess. So this right here was her response. LOL, funny how Omale want to cover up his own shortcomings to protect his image. You had to play victim to win and then tell me not to say anything. Every picture or video you did ask me for. Did you all read that? I ain't going even finish. And then she started insinuating that, oh, I'm going to expose you. I'm going to do a video and explain everything. Why on a well, would you tag Tanasha Donna in all the bullshit? Okay, I understand you did have to tag all these bloggers to get the cloud. This lady is one of those ladies that you realize that the guy that you underestimated will make it in life, make it so big, and then you just want to ride in that cloud. And the guy is like, mm -mm, not mine. Go and find somewhere else. That is what I get. Because as y'all can see, or rather can see the interview, Omale was clearly didn't want to talk about this lady. This lady just wanted to drive on Omale's wave. And in the mix of it, throw international donor's name in there. Like, shame on you, Miss Mamas. Like, fight your battles on your own. Tanasha Engo involve herself in your whatever it is you have going on with Omale. Deal with it over there. Leave us alone. Not unless we want us. You know, if you order for our trouble, we, we deliver with the bonus. But anyway, it is what it is. Tell me what you think down in the comment section. Why do you think this lady all of a sudden is coming out claiming that uh, Omale made me do it? Keep it classy, stay messy. Let's chop it down in the comment section. You can drag me if you want. Bye-bye.